The last dog that we have on the show for you today is another one of our black dogs. Um, he would qualify for that $20 discount in your adoption fee. This is Prince, and he has been with us before. Um, he was adopted as about a nine-month-old puppy, and um, now he's back at just over a year old, and he's still um, plenty of puppy in there. Um, so um, Prince um, needs somebody who's willing to work with him, to train him, um, make sure that he behaves uh, appropriately and knows what appropriate behavior is. Um, things that we've uh, found in our behavior assessment, um, you know, previously he was still learning how to use his mouth appropriately. Um, and would, you know, we have him listed as doing maybe better with um, older children. Um, so still working on that, um, knowing where his mouth is. Um, some dogs just take a little bit longer with that than others. Um, so certain toys, you know, having longer toys so that if you're playing with him, engaging him in play, he's not going to be right up on your hand is going to be important. Um, showing him what are appropriate things to chew, not letting him get away with chewing on hands and things like that as well. Um, you know, it's not just about telling him no, it's about educating him as to what is appropriate. The other thing that we've really noted is that he has some odd body language that might confuse other dogs. So dogs communicate with, with us and with other dogs <clears throat> through their body language. And so he has some things that um, to another dog, even though he doesn't mean them in a certain way, might be interpreted differently. So for those reasons, we think that he would probably do best as an only dog, we're not saying that that has to happen, but that would be our preference for Prince is that he go to a home where he would be the only dog. Um, his interactions with other dogs really depend on the dog. Um, he can be, you know, difficult to obtain because he's jumpy and um, he's excited. Um, when he's walking through the kennel, sometimes um, he um, bites at the other kennels. Um, and things like that. So another reason why we think he might do better as an only dog, but he really likes to be petted. He, um, you know, doesn't really have uh, a lot of, of issues that can't be worked with as long as someone is willing to devote the time uh, to Prince and to, to really train him. Um, other things about him, he's super strong, so making sure that you're prepared for that. But he's also just really sweet and cute, and he's got those great floppy ears, and he's a goofball, and um, he loves to roll around and play. He's got a great pit bull smile, um, but he just needs someone who's devoted to giving him um, the appropriate training and making sure that he gets the right exercise and, and just being aware of um, your dog's needs and how he interacts with um, other people and other dogs. If you're interested in Prince, uh, you can stop in and visit with him here at uh, Animal Control. Uh, our hours of visitation are going to be Monday, Tuesday, and Friday from 10 to 5, Wednesday and Thursday from 12 to 8, and Saturday from 10 to 4.